I went ahead and made a game using Unity for the first time. In terms of reputation, Unity has always been the general go-to game engine for game development, small and large, with a reputation as a reputable game engine, but also being reputable for being backing behind badly developed games. That part is not so true, but what is true is that Unity no doubt has had major influence on the world of indie game development. So after a long time, I'm finally ready to try making a game with Unity and see how it stands up against what I already use, Godot. As a general note for this video, I'll be using Unity on Linux since it's my main operating system and Unity provides installation instructions for Linux. So, how is installation? To install the actual Unity game engine, its versions, and open projects, it's all done from the Unity hub. On Linux, installation is very simple. First you add the public signing key, add the Unity hub repository, run sudo apt update, and install Unity Hub. After that, you log into your Unity account, and from there, Unity Hub will take care of the rest. When it comes to installing the Unity editor, support goes as far back as to 2017, but the current recommended long-term release version is 2022.3.6f1. However, while making this video, it just changed to 2022.3.7f1. Next, I had to create the project in Unity. Unity has two main types of projects, URP and HDRP. URP is more compatible for legacy devices, and often if you're looking to distribute on multiple platforms, that's what you ideally want. And HDRP is for more specific features like ray tracing, but that sacrifices general compatibility of course. So I created a 3D URP project, and Unity went ahead and downloaded the template and set up my project. So Unity has clearly done their homework when it comes to setup, but what about usability? From first glance, Unity's GUI compared to Godot could seem a bit overwhelming at first. But for the most part, once you get used to the little changes, the layout is very similar to that of something like Godot. The game I want to make in Unity is something simple. You have this puzzle character and you have to collect puzzle pieces to build back the puzzle character. So I went ahead and created the sprites for the puzzle character in Photop, and that process went pretty smoothly. Implementing the character into Unity was a little hard though. Unity manages objects called game objects. These game objects can be placed into scenes and don't really have visual differentiation. Coming from Godot, it's a lot more nested, as in Godot, while you can easily choose to collapse all your nodes, you can also open them back up and interact with them easily, but that's just a small nitpick. Initially, my thought process was to put the sprite on a quad, and then figure out how to animate the texture on said quad, and putting the sprite on the quad was pretty easy, but I couldn't figure out how to create the animations from there. It took me a couple hours before I figured out that I could simply drop my sprite into the editor and it would create a game object and then I could animate from there. As for animation, the animation timeline was actually pretty intuitive. My only complaint was how you get to it. To get to the animation tab in the menu bar, you have to go to window and then animation, which may not be easily locatable for a beginner. From there it will ask you to create an animation clip. Then you can animate by dropping a sprite directly into the timeline and it will automatically pick the correct animation track type, and then I could go ahead and keyframe it very intuitively. And while Godot has good keyframing, it still has some ways to go in terms of this. From here, I then went ahead and connected the animation together in the animator. I could have went ahead and tried to make it better managed using blend trees and whatnot, but I set it up simply and it worked out. Scripting, my favorite and least favorite part. This part was actually not that bad, since the main script functions are similar to Godot, and also because I made Run Diggy Run my first game in Godot using C Sharp. Because I'm on Linux, I'm required to use VS Code, but as of making my game in Unity, debugging using VS Code with Unity was updated to now use their pre-release Unity plugin. Then after installing it, it technically worked, and the reason I say technically is because it showed stuff like warning and errors inside of Unity, but inside of VS Code, it doesn't really show you anything, which means you have to hop back and forth between the editor to edit code. I actually went ahead and saw that a lot of people were complaining about this update, and they just went ahead and reverted back to older versions, so perhaps my issue wasn't just me. But before I get into scripting, in Unity, instead of having nodes inside of trees with one main script managing all the children, you have components for things like physics, animation, and more, and it can all be contained in a singular game object. 
The advantage of this is that you can have one game object with everything you need in a single inspector page, but then again, it can look very nested. So when making the player's character script, because I was lazy, I decided to put game logic in the fixed update loop, which is equivalent to Godot's physics process loop. For the player character, I decided to use a rigid body instead of a character controller. It probably would have been better to use a character controller, but I remember trying to implement the reference to work with that component and it was not working, probably because I messed something up. But either way, I managed to set it up and even though I ran into quite a few syntax errors, I managed to handle it. The only issue I encountered was that every time the player landed, the player would stop very shortly and then start moving again. This is probably because I was using a rigid body, but if anyone knows why, let me know. Also setting up the player's conditions was a little problematic too. Trying to detect if the player was on the ground or not to check if the player should be allowed to jump was more difficult to implement than in Godot where you would typically have conditions to be able to detect if the player was on the ground, ceiling, or on a wall. After this, I tried to add an enemy as an obstacle for the player, so I did that using a prefab which is more like a nested scene that you add to the main scene. However, when I dragged the prefab in, it started causing graphical artifacts both in the game and out of the editor, which was very strange. So I ended up stopping with that and tried to add a flagpole to give the player pieces to finish the puzzle character. But this time, I did it inside of the main scene and then duplicated the flagpoles and this time it didn't mess with the rendering. Another rendering issue I encountered was with the camera as well. And it turns out that this was a specific bug for my use case. At a certain distance away from a quad in the Z or Y axis, the quad will not be layered properly and it will cause it to appear behind an object when it shouldn't do that at all. And I found one post online and from looking around it doesn't seem like Unity acknowledged it at all so they probably won't fix it. Finally, I added some geometry and then finished it there because at that point Unity had been throwing me quite a lot of issues, so I didn't want to burn out myself by trying to add extra finishing touches and whatnot. So my game turned out to be less of a game and more of a demo, but I honestly didn't want to spend more time inside of Unity, so I was just glad to end it there. So here are my thoughts about Unity. Some pros include that it's very Linux compatible, which is great for game developers, the play mode can help with debugging, and Unity allows you to do big things with C Sharp. On the negative, the amount of bloat that Unity has as a game engine, the bugs that aren't fixed, not as intuitive interface, and bad business decisions honestly seem to drive me more and more away from Unity, especially as Godot becomes better. I initially considered Unity for the future of my game development projects, but now seeing as Godot becomes better and better and fills in those complex features such as console exports and ray tracing, when keep in mind it's free and open source, makes Godot a much more attractive option and worthy game engine to work with compared to Unity. And yes, I am biased towards Godot, but I came in with an open mind, thinking that Unity was going to be a reputable game engine. But it seems that with more and more competitors for different sections of game development, like GDevelop and Unreal Engine, when you take a look at the whole of Unity, is it really the future of game development, or is Unity just marketing their reputation for more attention and trying to fit the trend? Before I end this video, I asked my friend Dayday to tell me his thoughts about Unity and Godot since he's worked with both of them and he has an M1 MacBook Air, which seeing as Unity got its start as being built for game development on macOS should present an interesting situation, as in this case, Unity should have the advantage, right? Well, let's see what he has to say. With my experience, Unity and Godot, I actually really like the both of them, but both of them have like their own set of problems. So like Unity, for example, when you're trying to zoom out, if you have like a trackpad, you'll have to like move it a certain way instead of like zooming how, how you would in like anything else, like or on like Google or like you have to like just drag it across a trackpad. I mean, I'm used to it now. But it, it just feels, feels really off, especially when you don't work in specifically one specific engine. And then with Godot, personally, not ran into Jurassic issues I didn't like. But there has been some things that I, like, that wasn't explained well to me. Or, like, it didn't feel like it was, like, 
intuitive. I feel like, for the most part, yeah, a general engine that I would probably use more often is Godot because for like, if you're like working alone, I probably really I'd probably use it. Like, I can only see Unity being used in like, a multi-team manner. Also. I, if, especially if you're doing smaller projects, let's say you have like a, a MacBook, like one of the newer ones that, uh, like an Air, and like, as you know, they don't have like new storage switching thingies. If you want to get more storage, you either buy yourself like a very expensive adapter, or you just buy yourself a new laptop, which of course that's intentional, but still, uh, with like uh, Unity, it takes up a lot of space, especially if you have like used a computer for a long time. And like, let's say like you just got Unity, you make a single project, it's gonna take up a lot of space. And I mean a lot. But Godot, like you make a new project, even if it has nothing, like it's like super, it's super small. So for like smaller projects, I can only really see using Unity in a major project with like multiple team members. Yeah, I just both are pretty good. And like once you once you wrap your head around it, both UIs are like they're pretty easy to follow. I think Godot is just easier for like you're using it for the first time. Because Unity, let's be honest, if somebody's using Unity for the first time, they open up Unity, they're going to be so confused. I personally think uh, Godot is better used uh, when you're only doing it by yourself. And that's all. Let me know if you want me to try making a game on any other game engines, and I'll see you in the next video.